Today we're going to take a look at 12 different resources online where you can get free audiobooks. In addition, many of these sites offer free ebooks, podcasts, one of them even offers free scripts. So it's a very interesting collection today. So stay tuned, you're definitely going to want to go through and make note of many of these. So let's get started. This site is called openculture.com and they have free audiobooks, online courses, movies, podcasts, ebooks, and it's an interesting resource. Um, I clicked on the auto, I clicked online courses. Let's click on audiobooks here. Um, I wouldn't rank this as my number one choice, and I'll tell you why. Um, you have the different authors and that sort of thing, but if they have different options for download. And some of them are free stream, some are an MP3 download, and they go to multiple resources. So this is what makes it interesting. However, when you go to um, something like a, a free MP3 stream, it'll take you to library box or if you take a um, free iTunes, it's going to take you um, to the Apple Podcasts. Um, if you go down to some of the other ones, it takes you to some of the other sites. So what I don't like necessarily about this is it, it just takes you to other sites. Um, it is not a primary source for downloading material. It is kind of a collective um, searching area so if you are looking for something that's kind of hard to find this might be a good place to start looking and then you might find um, a site that they you seem to be continually going to that you enjoy and then you can just use that one directly but otherwise it's a great resource they have a lot of online courses movies podcasts uh, it's more of a pass-through site though This is Google Play. A lot of people are familiar with this. I'm only going to go through this really quickly. If you come to um, play.google.com, uh, navigate to uh, books and then to audiobooks, you'll find this sample section of some of their books. Uh, you can buy the books. Uh, they have an introductory free book for you when you first sign up to start doing it. So it's a good way to get a free book. I've listened to one book on here. Um, what's neat is, you know, if you do have an Android phone, which I don't, but any longer anyways, um, but it is a resource for that. They also have apps on here um, for audiobook sites that have, uh, you know, a lot of different uh, collections of audiobooks. And I think Apple probably does as well. The other thing about this um, is that you can listen to it on the uh, home automation systems. And, um, and play audiobooks while you're uh, working at home. So this is a, a quick sample. It's not a lot of free stuff on here, um, but there is uh, a free in introductory book when you sign up for it. This is storynori.com, and like you would guess from the name, it. Uh, is focusing on children's books and educational books for kids. If you uh, come on here, um, it's an okay so site. There's a lot of ads throughout it. Uh, if you search for different classic authors, you know they've got Charles Dickens. Uh, they have Alice in Wonderland stories, and, and they, it's I don't know how extensive it is. I just got frustrated because there's so many ads on here and some of them are kind of inappropriate so you might want to be careful watching it with going navigating through it with your kids plus i'm seeing a lot of broken uh, images on this site so it's it's a bit dated um, and as you see almost every page you pull up is just loaded with ads here's the secret garden i figured i would navigate to this location here just quickly and you know you see you got the audio 
sample, you can download it, and or you can read along with it online here. So it's probably a, a decent one. The reviews seem to be okay, but as far as you can see, the, most of the reviews go back to, you know, five years ago or so. So it's a bit of a dated site, but it's not a bad place to start for listening to some uh, free audiobooks if you can tolerate all these little ads here. Okay, so this one is called LibraryVox.org. And it is a, um, a free public domain audiobook resource. But pay attention to this note here, read by volunteers from around the world. So you have um, some that are open readings and some that are just uh, recordings. And they do have a lot of interesting authors. Let's take, we'll do a quick search here. Let's look at Charles Dickens. So if you search the name Dickens, you'll see a lot of them. You're not going to find um, a whole lot of full novels on here, from what I could tell. Um, a lot of short stories, but they're read by individuals, you know, and the quality is going to vary depending on who's doing the work. Um, we can look at Mark Twain. You know, all of these books are, are what's called public domain. They become public domain books um, 50 years after the author has died, and then. Uh, they still can be sold, but they're, anybody can sell them. Anybody can make recordings of them. So there's a lot of Mark Twain's works here. Um, so it's a good resource for if you're looking for something. They do have you know the quick download. It's an MP3 file, and uh, they've got a lot of stuff. So if you're looking for some short stories to download, you could do this right on your phone or you know transport to an MP3 player. I'm sure from your desktop. So this might be a great site to start with if you're looking for some quick um, free stuff that are short stories from various authors to get a flavor of their, uh, uh, their style. So this is loyalbooks.com and they have a pretty extensive selection. They also have it in several languages. Um, they break it down by genre and they have kids books, fiction books. These are all audio books. Um, you can check out, you know, we can say Anne and Green Gables, and they've got some advertisements that you have to kind of navigate through. And this, like the Anne and Green Gables, there's a whole series of books here, and they're all on here. So you can listen to it on the chapters. They have an app which it might be better to use the app for this one. Um, so it's at loyalbooks.com app. I think uh, it's probably available on all the app stores. So this is an interesting one. It's got a pretty good selection. Uh, if you go to the different categories, history, you know, they've got some pretty big titles or well-known ones. You know, um, let's see what they've got in mystery. Yeah, they've got, you know, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I'm not a big mystery author, you know, but Turn of, the, Turn of the Screw by Henry James. He's, I recognize a lot of these titles, Washington Irving's, a lot of classics. So it's a good um, website or app to use for some free books and definitely worth one checking out. This uh, website's called Scribble. Um, they merged they, they've been a site by themselves for a while. They also merged with a, another site called Podio Books um, in the last few years. And they've got free audiobooks on here, um, probably more so in the knowledge books section. And if you, pull, you click on that link, you'll see their list of books. All of these are uh, appear to be mainly from independent authors. And so there's, there's going to be a selection of books on here that are not maybe mainstream, but there's a lot of them that are free for download. And, um, you know, you just have to kind of go through and, and choose or check in frequently. So they, they have kind of nominal fees on some of them. So it's an uh, interesting site to choose from, um, some different type of material.
This site is called learnoutloud.com. They have a lot of uh, podcasts, audiobooks, some kids' stuff. Uh, it's all focused on educational type material, um, which is a, is a good uh, collection here. Um, there's a lot of great um, book titles here. If we go to audiobooks, you know, they've got different uh, categories that are pretty popular and, um, you know, well known ones. And you can get, you know, let's see if we can download. You know, you can download a lot of the books. Here's a popular one Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And you can hear a sample. So, this is a, a pretty good resource. They seem to be um, available in multiple formats. So, you can, uh, you know, check it out, navigate. I, I couldn't tell what the sign up requirements are if it's totally free or if there's just a free trial period based on the description up here. But um, it's worth looking into. It's a very interesting um, website. And, and it kind of directs towards anything educational. This is archive.org. And I find this site to be very interesting because um, it has a massive collection of uh, material on here. And it pulls from American libraries, it pulls from uh, libraries in Canada, European libraries, all kinds of information from all over the place. And you can look for books on here, like audio, uh, these are like more like uh, ebooks to read online. And if you want audiobooks, you come over here to the audiobooks collection and you can start going through the various books they've got. And they do have some pretty well known popular ones. A lot of it pulls from uh, LibriVox, which we've already covered on that site. Um, and, you know, let's just take a look at Dracula here. You come up to this and you've got the audiobook screen. You can go chapter by chapter. So you could listen on your desktop. And I think there's a way, yeah, there is a, a various types of downloads on here. So you've got um, the full one file package or you can just, I think you can download it by sections. And uh, it's just... A massive resource you can see there's it's been around a while and the collection has uh, is, is pretty fast so there's a lot of great resources for free audiobooks here this site is called all you can books.com and it's an interesting site in in that it doesn't um, disclose a lot about what their library is like you really don't have a search option to see what kind of samples they have they have a nice little video introduction you should watch it um, that kind of displays quickly what they're about um, basically they are a subscription service it's free for 30 days you can download all you want um, just looking quickly at the reviews is kind of mixed. Um, the first one off the top is negative. says you need to be able to search the name of the book you want. Well, that's not so bad if you know the title. Um, does that imply that you can't search by author? I don't know. I don't have this service. Um, but the rest of the reviews say it's quick and easy to sign up. So far, they're enjoying it. So, most part, um, you know, it's... It's got a fair, fairly good uh, collection based on what we're seeing here. So overall, I think it's worth a try, especially for a 30-day trial. So I thought I would include this one in here as well. Okay, so here we're looking at scribed.com. And this is a, another uh, subscription service. They offer a free um, 30 day trial. Um, what's interesting about this one is that look at the comparison. They're very similar in price to Kobo.com. Um, they're cheaper than Audible and they're going to be also cheaper than Audiobooks.com. 
Um, they have podcasts, magazines, audiobooks, books, even sheet music, which is kind of interesting. Um, and I haven't checked out what documents are. So this is a pretty good uh, collection. They do offer a lot of the um, more current books. So we'll take a look at this right here. Get this away. This is not going to work. Um, we'll look at some of the audiobooks here. So here's, you know, here's a sample of their collection of audiobooks. And some of them are new, some of them are. They, they have them ranked by popular. You can also search by uh, author and title. This site is called Thought Audio, and it's thoughtaudio.com. Um, it's a website put together by some independent group of people here, and they they work on classic literature and philosophy titles so it's they have audiobooks on here and you can um, it's they, they survive off of donations they've been around for about five years and you know they have some pretty good samples here of some of the books you can listen to the the, the books right online and I think you could there's probably a way on here to download it to your device yeah, download or you right click on the track and save it to your device so uh, not a vast selection as you might find in other places but it's um, a pretty good way to, to get some good free audiobooks okay so this website's called lit to go and they have audiobooks and ebooks on here um, they have story collections if you go here to to books you'll come down to the various um, authors and that sort of thing so let's say let's take Agnes Gray and you can select a individual book or chapter and um, if you come down here to um, let's just go down to F and see what other books come up here and so we've got um, well, let's see fairy tale and other traditional stories so here's some here's an interesting way to download books so we've got all these fairy tales and stories let's say we want to listen to the golden river you can listen to it right online or you can download it as an audiobook a pdf uh, in this other format i guess the student activity format so these are uh, it tells you how big how many words they are in the book so you can get an uh, index of how long it is and um, it's a 14 minute story so this would be a great uh, site to come to if you want to just uh, read along on a, on a tablet and listen to it with somebody or you can download it and listen to it in your car uh, if you got want to hear a lot of different short stories or actual full books so it's a pretty easy to navigate site um, I kind of like it it's got a lot of uh, interest, and the ebooks have a lot of uh, pictures and things in them. And it, I like how they break it down by chapter, so you could download a few chapters at a time. And um, it's just a, a good resource, definitely worth uh, checking out. So I hope this video was useful to you. I hope you find some great um, audiobooks out there. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, also, feel free to subscribe and comment. Thanks a lot.